Now, the Supreme Court is expected to issue its final ruling in late June or early July. Meanwhile, Wisconsin does have a law on the books that would make abortions illegal in nearly all cases. Wisconsin is just one of 20 states that have laws that could be used to make abortion a crime if federal protection is overturned. That's according to PolitiFact. But keep in mind, Roe v. Wade has been the law of the land for decades, so it's not clear if old laws would immediately take effect. Our Mary Jo Ola joins us live from the newsroom right now with a look at what Roe v. Wade being overturned could mean right here in Wisconsin. Mary Jo. Tom, more than a century ago, Wisconsin passed a law that bans most abortions, but it has been unenforceable since Roe v. Wade. Now, if Wisconsin's abortion law goes back into effect as it's written, it would outlaw abortions unless a doctor believes it's necessary to save the mother's life. Anyone who performs an abortion would be committing a felony and face up to six years in prison and up to $10,000 in fines. If the mother dies during an abortion, the punishment then ramps up. We are working now to find out if Roe v. Wade is overturned, how soon Wisconsin's abortion law would take effect. In the newsroom, Mary Jo Ola, TMJ4 News. All right, Mary Jo, thank you. We'll keep up with you throughout the day for the latest on that. Here in Wisconsin, Democratic Governor Tony Evers tweeted out that he will fight to protect abortion and reproductive rights. Also in a tweet, Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin pushed the Senate to pass her Women's Health Appro Protection Act. Republican Senator jo Ron Johnson tweeted, quote, the goal of this unprecedented breach is to intimidate sitting Supreme Court justices and said that the radical left is trying to fundamentally transform America. Now, this abortion opinion bringing out strong reactions, of course, from people both for and against it. Our Bruce Harrison joins us live with some organizations in our area to tell us what they have to say this afternoon, Bruce. Tom, I spoke with both Planned Parenthood advocates for um, uh, right here in, in Wisconsin as well as pro-life Wisconsin. Now, Planned Parenthood, they told me they're devastated by this news, but they want folks to know here in this state that it's just a draft. Abortion for now is still legal in this state. However, they are proceeding with the expectation that if Roe v. Wade is overturned, abortion would become a felony, like Mary Jo said, here in Wisconsin. Understanding the lengths to which some people in power will go mm -hmm. to take away all power in every instance from people being able to make that decision, um, it, it provides a stark reality. Now, we'll be uh, having an interview with Pro-Life Wisconsin this afternoon as well. They have released a statement in the meantime saying that this is a draft. It's not final, but it gives them much to hope for. And if the draft does hold up, uh, you know, it's just the beginning. Their fight will only intensify to see that abortion is illegal in this state and that right to life is enshrined in the Wisconsin Constitution. Tom? All right, Bruce Harrison live for us uh, this afternoon. We'll be looking forward to both sides of that report coming up. Later today, Bruce, thank you. A national poll from Marquette University Law School finds that a majority of people oppose overturning Roe versus Wade. The survey was done back in January of this year and found that 72% of people with an opinion opposed overturning it compared to 28% who supported overturning it. However, when asked about the specific case before the Supreme Court, it's uh, more even. Dobbs versus Jackson Women Health Organization concerns a Mississippi law that restricts abortion after 15 weeks of pregnancy. It's what started all this. When asked about that specific restriction, 49% of people favor limiting abortion, while 51% oppose it. Now, this is a rapidly developing story. We are following the latest on the potential for Roe versus Wade being overturned and what it could mean for Wisconsin and beyond at TMJ4.com, on our social media pages, and of course, on our streaming apps.